Now it is not that we use only these two this unitational experiment alone to find the metal parameters of a material there are other experiments and other modelized which are also used one of the prevalent modelized that is used is what is called as the shear modulus. G which is defined as the shear stress by divided by the angle change caused due to the shear stress okay. Now uh, here what you do is you do a pure shear experiment wherein you take a block and you shear it like this okay with the shear stress tau okay. Now what happens is your state of stress is given by 0 if I assume my coordinate system to be x, y and z as my coordinate system my state of stress for this particular state of stress is 0, tau, 0, tau, 0. 0 0 0 0 okay correspondingly you will find that the strain from the constellation we want to find what the strain is you observe that trace of sigma in this case is 0 so the strain becomes so the strain becomes 1 by 2 mu sigma which is 0 tau 0 tau 0 0 0 0 0 okay from the previous lecture on angle changes you know that the angle change gamma between x and y axis between the x and y axis is given by 2 times epsilon xy okay. So the angle change in terms of stress would be now tau by mu gamma x comma y angle change between the x and y axis for this state of shear stress. Okay. Now, so the shear modulus g is nothing but tau divided by gamma between x comma y axis which is which is nothing but mu okay. From here you get to understand that the Lamé constant mu mu is nothing but the shear modulus g okay. Now from the expression for uh, mu that we had before you can relate the shear modulus to the Young's modulus also through the equation e by 2 into 1 plus nu okay from the previous expression that we had for mu the Lamé constant okay. 